Hey guys, it's May 500 here, back with another video, sitting down, doing another lure review. Um, getting to the end of our lure review month. <clears throat> um, you know, uh, we've been putting out a lot of videos, um, lots of good stuff, lots of good information, a couple of fishing stories in there maybe. And uh, it's been a good time, and uh, I hope I can keep doing lure reviews for all my fishing guys. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, stay tuned, there's going to be lots of fishing stuff to come this year. Um, for everybody else, lots of hunting stuff, lots of archery stuff coming up. Just had my first archery shoot. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Didn't take any videos. It was too cold, but uh, there's lots of the time for that. We got one in two weeks. We got one every two weeks till um, the end of the years or the, or the start of uh, deer hunting season. So there's going to be lots of time for that. So stay tuned for those. Um, it'll sh and you'll see lots of archery stuff and uh, shotgun. Uh, my first sh shotgun shoots in April, so you'll see that coming up, and uh, lots of good stuff here, L lots going on, lots of fishing, lots of, uh, lots of other stuff too, so stay tuned, it's going to be good. Anyways, today we're talking about another one of, one of my favorite companies, really. Um, if you notice, there's quite a trend going on, you'll see a lot of live target and a lot of Rapala Allure reviews, well this one adds to it. This is the live target hollow body frog. Well, let me tell you right off the bat that this is just too big of a lure for smallmouth. As you can see, it, it's pretty pretty sizable. As for largemouth, I think this would be an awesome, awesome lure for largemouth, but it's just way too big. They do make some smaller versions that I would like to try, and I've seen them at, at, at uh, Walmart. My local Walmart carries them now, those really small, small versions of this. And I might like to give this uh, this a try in the smaller sizes. But as for this size is concerned, it's just too big. Um, as far as the paint job and quality level, which we'll get into, um, it's you'll see that it's super, super nice. Colors and patterns. Comes in lots of different colors. There's a yellow color, there's a, a black color, and then there's this color. I think they have a few more out there now. When they first started coming out with lures, Live Target that is, they had like one or two colors, and now they're coming out with lots. Um, so this, is, this is one of their original colors that they first came out with um, for the frog and I kind of like it. It matches our species of frog, frogs that I've seen around here and also the black one as well maybe um, would do well as well for a species of frog around here. You really want to match the hatch. That's what they tell you for frog fishing. Um, I don't know. I, I just haven't had a whole lot of luck on frogs. Um, I know other people have for smallmouth but for me um, just no luck with the uh, with the frogs, partly due to the size, and you can see the colors on that are super well done. I mean, they're awesome, awesome colors. I love all live targets. You can see there's a bit of um, kind of texturing right there on the sides. I mean, they're just so nice. Just the color patterns, you just can't. You you have to see them in person to understand how good looking they are. The material, um, it's not as some uh, tough as I thought it would be. Um, you know, it will last you um, a long time, but as I'll talk about in some other reviews coming up, um, you know, it's it's not the toughest stuff around, but from what I can tell, you know, it'll last a while, and um, the great thing about this plastic stuff is, I know I gave a hit to my uh, my other live target lures for rubbing off. This stuff, does, this stuff doesn't rub off. As you can see, I've used it a bit on the bottom, um, and it seems to hold up fairly well. Uh, weight, this is a heavy, heavy lure. Um, I know, like I said, it comes in some smaller sizes. Those will be lighter, um, but it's super easy to cast. I mean, you can cast this thing a mile, um, but like I said, it's just so sizable that uh, it's almost impossible for me to use it just because it's so big. Um, the length, um, I do find, when we get to length, I find these tails to be a bit too long. As you can see, they run the length of my hand there. So I do find these tails to be a bit too long. If it were me and if I was really seriously fishing this lure for largemouth bass, I would trim those. I'd take at least a quarter of an inch off the end there, probably like that much, because they are at least that much, because uh, they're just too long of tails. Um, maybe for some other species, but for me, I just find those tails are, are a little bit too long. And I see that on a lot of uh, hollow body frogs, that the tails on these are super, super long. And I don't know why they do it. Uh, maybe it's so you can kind of customize the size of your the size of your tails. Um, I don't know. For me, they're just too long, though. 
too long of a, of a bait to use, especially for small ones. That just adds to the uh, to the size as well. Um, super high quality. I really like this. Look, it is a hollow body, so the hooks are really well done. Um, super sharp. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce the brand there, but it's kind of a, a Japanese-like name. And they're super sharp, and they're super thick hooks, too. They're not going to bend on you. They're super nice, super well done. Get them tails out of the way. And they're just super, super tough. And you can just squeeze the water out of it once you get it in or after a certain amount of time. As for this up here, well done, very thick, um, and it's nice and sturdy. So when you set the hook, it's not going to fall apart on you. Price, it is very expensive, like all live targets. I think this one was around $13. Like I said, um, as the size goes up, the price goes up. So this one's sizable. The smaller sizes are going to be just a little bit cheaper, around $12 without tax. And that's regular price as well. You can probably find it cheaper um, in other locations on sale. If you get lucky, um, pick, them, pick them up, especially if they're on sale um, because they are um, very expensive lures. So that's something to look out for when you go shopping, lure shopping. Um, if you see them on sale, don't pass them up because they're, they're super expensive. Durability, like I said, I think it's going to last fairly well. You know, it's going to last pretty good as far as I can see. Um, the material there is pretty thick um, but super nice super nice paint job on them on these lures very nice really like them um, uh, salt content oh whoops these, these are my soft plastics fishing um, soft plastic baits talking points so there's that one I'll show you some competitive options there's really not a whole lot um, actually I don't have any now that I think about it just because I haven't fished very many frogs before um, go check them out though, they're all over the place. I know, um, Life, uh, well, of course, Life Target makes them. Um, Supro with their Dean Rojas lineup, I think he still um, helps them with their design. Really, Dean Rojas is a guy who's behind the whole frog fishing industry. And then there's also um, Booyah makes one now, I've seen this year, and a couple other ones um, makes them. I think. Jackal makes one too. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, there's something to look out for. They're kind of neat little lures. I would like to get a smaller size of this just to try it out and see how it is. But for right now, um, this is just too big for me unless we start getting large enough up here. But I doubt that'll happen. Um, but yeah, just uh, just too big of a lure for me to use. But as far as quality is concerned, um, very good. Price a little bit higher because of the high quality of all the materials and as well as that beautiful paint job. So stay tuned guys. Was my 500 here. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, we're talking about the live target hollow body frog. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I didn't give you much of fishing experience with it but like I said frogs aren't my uh, aren't my go-to bait. So stay tuned for more videos guys. Was my 500 here. Um, hope you enjoyed that video and if you want any more information Live Target's website is down in the link below in the sidebar description, so go check them out. Stay tuned, guys. It was Man 500. Thanks for watching.